The Tigers make two changes this evening and it's returns for Rhys Burke and Dan Batty. Stephen Kingsley injured on Saturday is going through a concussion protocol which rules him out, whilst Angus McDonald is dropped and Adam Curry and Robbie McKenzie are on the bench. Seven days ago in South Yorkshire, they played pretty well against Sheffield United in the League Cup. Kane, lovely diagonal ball if it can find Irvine. Pretty much gobbled up. No nonsense stuff from Rotherham at the back. And then another launched ball forward. Jordy Device getting tangled with Smith. Two six foot four giants going toe to toe. Now Lehigh. Trying to carry on his run there as John Taylor was trying to scamper back for Rotherham. Here's Evandro. Henriksen fancies it, hits it! First meaningful save from either keeper. And Marcus Henriksen, who was developing a real appetite for long-range efforts, wasn't too far away and gets the keeper involved. Lovely drilled effort it was on target and it needed a goalkeeper intervention. So a corner kick for the Tigers. Plenty of bodies in the mix here. Cross supplied. It's been allowed to bounce. Batty shoots a goal cleared away. Burke. And then it can only find the stand behind the goal. But real positivity from the Tigers early on here. The first 12 minutes has produced some good opportunities. Not well defended by Rotherham there. Batty shot back in. And then Burke was allowed to get the ball down too. Burke has made his chest control a little bit too strong there and he's had to give up a corner here in pretty cheap circumstances. Prepare for a corner kick, Marshall. Won't want to be called upon here. He'll want his defence to do the job in that real cluster of bodies on the penalty spot lots for Jeremy Simpson the referee to watch and it comes up goes the headers and it's touched in headed in the captain for Rotherham United has set Rotherham United in the right direction 1-0 to the home side and it's a set piece goal which has undone the Tigers again Richard Wood getting his head onto this and Question marks really over the marking. The closest man is Reese Burke, but he had his attentions on another man. And Rotherham United have got themselves in front after a quarter of an hour. Richard Wood. Touch on the edge of the area, and then a beautiful shot. And that's not far away at all from Rotherham United, showing that they can actually cause problems with their feet, not just in the aerial department. Ryan Manning going close. Henriksen down the line here. Bowen with licence to get forward, slips one through for Campbell. Evandro, good ball, Evine! His contributions have deserved a goal, and the Australian comes up with an equaliser. The Tigers have not curled up in a ball tonight, they have come back fighting. Again, it's another lovely ball from Evandra, and a good clean connection from Jackson Irvine, the ground may have just helped him there, unmarked at the back. And that's always going to cause you problems if you're in the Rotherham United defence. Jackson Irvine makes it 1-1. And that is the response Nigel Adkins was looking for. The board going up then to signal just the one minute of added time. Now the cross comes in, once again punched by Rudak, but he hasn't got a cleanest of connections. Decent chance! Goal! The Tigers will take the lead going into half-time. Fraser Campbell's touch has turned this fixture around and the Tigers are in front. Ajayi will be disappointed there, but the Tigers will be delighted. Lehigh's teasing ball in and Fraser Campbell's touch. 
It's a low ball, it's a teasing ball from Eric Lehigh. And Fraser Campbell has managed to steer the ball home. Ajay will be disappointed there. Marcus Henriksen then from Norway, will be favoured, of course, by all the Scandinavian fan base who hopefully will be watching. They always show great positivity in the crowd if they're here, on social media if they can't make it to the game. Fair play to you guys. Will he be celebrating now? Campbell, the Tigers have opened up Rotherham here. This could be the perfect start to the second half. Jackson Irvine once again makes it Rotherham one, Hull City three. And the Tigers are rocking in Rotherham now. What a start to the second half. Smiles, ecstasy and delight. Campbell's little ball into the path of Bowen. No marking on Irvine again. You would think Rotherham would have learnt their lesson, but they haven't, and they've been made to pay again. It's a lovely finish. The little bobble might just have helped Irvine out there. It's gone over Rodak this time, rather than underneath him. And there are scenes of ecstasy and absolute pandemonium in the away end. The Tigers have hit Rotherham once again. Fourth official's got the board in his hands, just having a little look down to see which team it's going to be that's going to make the next change. With 19 minutes of normal time to play, time is running out for Rotherham United. At the moment, it can run out as much as it wants. The Tigers are 3-1 up away from home. Matic with the ball in his hands, deep inside the Rotherham United half of the field. Henriksen will loft this back forward. Oh, lovely back heel, Jared Bowen. Now the Tigers could be in here. Bowen, good save, and again it's saved from Will Keane, who just blasts it at the goalkeeper. We have other ideas. Bowen tries to get the corner in. Bit strong. Back into the mix, though. Will Keane surrounded by three men! And nearly, oh so nearly. Jackson Irvine nearly had his hat trick. How well did Will Keane do here, though, with three men around him, managing to get the ball back to Jackson Irvine? Newell. Rotherham looking to open the Tigers up here. Proctor off the bench. Oh, it's going to fall kindly into the path of Will Volks, excuse me. And then it is cleared away. It's coming straight back, though, with Richard Wood. It's a bit of a strong touch. Sharon Bowen winning the ball off him. Rotherham still have it, though. Proctor looking to cut inside here. Trying to tee it up to the edge of the area. Rotherham are putting men forward. Volks, slide tackle comes in. Tigers are squeezing, but the ball is being worked wide. Rotherham get the ball in. Great chance! 3-2. Now we've got a game on. Rotherham United have scored. And it's a very well-worked goal from the home side. Marshall's beaten. And the Tigers are going to have to keep calm heads now as Rotherham United have managed to find themselves a goal. It's a nice ball played in. And the man off the bench, Jamie Proctor, I think it's a bit of a commentator's curse. I apologise, because he has got his first goal at championship level. Jamie Proctor makes it 2-3 on the score sheet. Bowen Volks just having a little matter with one another. Looking to find Ajayi here, who's gone all the way up the field here. Now Proctor for Rotherham United, stands up across, again headed back across, and then headed horrendously wide from Ajayi. He covered some ground to get into the equation, and he had a bit of time there, really. Burke didn't even jump. Jai could have been a hero for Rotherham United there.